All right, Secretary Buttigieg, my, my question is on timing. How, how long do you think it will take to do the projects that you've just outlined, get the regulatory approvals and cut through the red tape? Because we did learn in 2009 that there is no such thing as shovel-ready projects. Well, you know, as I visit communities across the country, talk to mayors, uh, transit authority leaders, governors, uh, what I'm seeing is that there are some things that uh, they could hit go on tomorrow. Some things are even already underway. They just go faster if they had more funding. Other things are going to take longer. And, and I want to emphasize this is a little bit different than the 2009 bill. That was a stimulus. That was about getting out of an economic hole. This is about preparing the economy for the future. And so uh, there's a, a focus not just on shovel-ready projects that we could be working on literally immediately. Uh, as, as soon as that funding clears, but also what I would call shovel-worthy projects, projects that are going to define what it is like to live in the United States in the 2030s, 2040s, 2050s, but that we got to get to work on right this minute because, uh, frankly, we've allowed this country to fall behind. Let's just be clear, though. I mean, you, you said the president wants both packages, but physical and, and human. Will he sign one without the other? Because that remains an open question. Well, obviously, there's a question about uh, how Congress is, is going to proceed and, and how the kind of procedural mechanics work. And we leave that to, to Congress and we trust the leadership uh, to uh, go ahead and, and bring those forward. But uh, the president's going to keep his word. Uh, he uh, believes in this bipartisan deal. And of course, he believes in the rest of his economic vision. And again, I'm just going to say it one more time. I think there's no reason why at least a few Republicans shouldn't be willing to support things like paid family leave in this country or uh, uh, free community college or making sure three and four year olds uh, can go to pre-K or uh, making sure that uh, it's affordable to have uh, child care, uh, no matter your income in this country. Uh, I'm going to continue pushing for that to be bipartisan, too. But uh, if it's got to move with only Democratic votes, so be it, uh, because it's very important one way or the other that it happens. I think they're against the tax increases, Mr. Secretary, and, and also just the, the general expanding of government and government entitlements. And, and both of those things are very against Republican ideology. Well, uh, if you look across the country, uh, you don't have to be a Republican to believe for example, in paid family leave. Uh, most Americans think we ought to do this. And as for the taxes, uh, one of the things we found in, in the president's vision, which, of course, is to uh, do things like uh, closing uh, loopholes or uh, making sure there's enforcement so that wealthy people who cheat on their taxes are, are caught and that we get that revenue, uh, that's something that maybe not in Washington, but around America, people from both parties see a lot of common sense in. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.